Hey there everybody, it's Peter from Indigo River Tiny Homes and we're here again today to show you one of our beautiful homes that we built for one of our customers. This is a 10 foot wide by 39 foot entertainer deluxe. It's the largest house we build and we've got a bunch of really cool features starting with the exterior here. We've got custom steel exterior siding. It's made to look like cedar shake shingles, but it's really a 26 gauge steel held up through a hail storm we had here no problem with nickel size hail didn't have any, any dents or dings on it another upgrade on the exterior here is the pillow wood windows those are aluminum clad on the exterior wood on the interior beautiful windows pillow makes some of the best windows in the world and then on the outside here just a couple of the standard features we have the utility closet here where we keep the water heater um, the whole house water filtration system underneath the gooseneck area we've got the mini split and some of the utilities the electrical connection the water connection are under there um, so let's go inside and check out some of the other cool features on this house one upgrade you forgot is the sips right this house is built with structural insulated panels and we can explain that inside or outside the house. Mm -hmm. <laughs> These walls are, are made with SIPs, AKA structural insulated panels. There's a link in the description of the video down below. So if you want to click on that, learn more about SIPs, you can there. And here we are. When you step into the house, first thing you, when you come in the door is the shoe cubby. You actually, you're standing on a landing, which is over the wheels of the house. Um, then you step down into the living area. We have this staged a little differently from the, how the customer is actually going to use it. Um, we have this set up as the living area with the sofa facing into the alcove area right there. You can put a TV on top of that t TV stand. Normally that is walled off and that's outdoor storage space. And so the customer wanted that to be interior storage space. She has a bunch of crafts that she's going to be storing under there and a table that that she has that slides up underneath there and so we we left that wall open and finished it out for her so she can have that inside that extra storage inside the house instead of outside the house then it's over here the bike shed in the deluxe right that's what if you've seen our other videos the it's what we call the bike shed in our deluxe models and then she <clears throat> she's gonna have a big tall piece of furniture right so we have this set up as the dining area but she had a, has a seven foot tall, I think a five, seven and a half foot tall, five foot wide china cabinet that she inherited from her mother that is really sentimental to her. She wanted a special place for it. So we created this space for her for that. Um, and we have it set up as a dining table right now, but that's what she's going to put here. So tons of space in the living area, living slash dining. And then there's going to be even more dining space upstairs. Yeah, and underneath the stairs, she wanted this all open shelving. Normally we close that off or make it pull outs or drawers, but she just wanted all open shelving there because she has uh, more craft stuff and dens that she wants to keep in there. And so next we'll go into the bathroom. Underneath there, that was just the washer dryer area, the laundry alcove, we call it. And we've got the Doctor Who shower. So it looks a little bit like a TARDIS. Oops, turn the light off. There we go. <laughs> and so it just open, slides open, slides shut. Really cool shower with a removable shower head. We got the a standard flush toilet. One unique feature to this house is the back door, which is right next to the toilet here. So she's gonna use this as kind of a bathroom slash bedroom. So she wanted a, a door that she could go out go to her garden and when she comes back in uh, use it as a as a mudroom as well as as the bathroom and then we have a stock vanity there from Ikea we have a lighted does have a lighted mirror which is a really cool feature oh another feature that these that the living room and the bathroom have that is an upgrade is heated floors so that's another Another special feature to this house, 
where the floors are heated. And, and she's going to have a side-by-side -side washing machine. Yes, th this one has, is going to have side-by-side -side washer and dryer instead of the all-in-one, which a lot of customers ask about because they hear, they hear bad things about the all-in-ones. But if you have a vented like one... Them. If you have a vented one. Yeah, if you have a vented one, we have one in our tiny house, and it does pretty good. All right. So, master bedroom first? Master bedroom first. I'll let you walk up first. So we'll go to the stair up the stairs to the left of the door. She's getting extra toe hold slash storage. Both sides of the bed. Yeah, so we put these extra bookshelves in around the, the bed. And normally along this wall to the left here we do all we do a a bank of wardrobes here. But this customer um, it has a lot of alpha railing system from container store, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so she's going to hang, um, she, she has this modular system that she's going to put here for hanging her clothes and, and storing her um, different items up in the bedroom. Uh, this fits a queen or a king size bed. This is a queen right here, but you could fit a king size bed up here as well. And then again, there's plenty of room for me to stand. I'm six foot tall. And then we have these directional fans, which uh, blow the air from downstairs up into the loft and into the gooseneck area to help control the temperature throughout the entire house. We don't have them running right now, though. It's pretty nice in here. Yeah. And it's 106 today in Dallas? Uh, yeah, something like that. It's 104. It's set on 79. <laughs> so it's pretty but toasty out there. have pretty good... Insulation. They so. do. This house was left unplugged um, for five days in the Texas heat and it was still comfortable inside. Maybe not for everybody, but if you're used to working in a hot warehouse, it was comfortable inside. <laughs> I mean, it was fine for me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this is, we have this, this area, this loft staged as a sleeping area, which she is going to use this for guests, but she's mostly going to keep the mattress stored and use it as a Japanese dining area. So this is actually gonna be her dining room area right here up short in the- Short table. With a, yeah, with a short table seating on the floor. And then these are a little more complicated than what we normally do, you and I. Yeah, because the, because the door in the bathroom, we had to do the ceiling a little higher, so it's a little higher step up. So we have these drop down steps. So it's got a two step up, two ladder rungs basically, up into this loft space. And then here we are into the kitchen, which is over the gooseneck area. This is a very unique feature to this house as we've never done a gooseneck kitchen, kitchen before. Uh, so it's really cool. She, and she chose really unique colors and chose to do these pegboards inside, instead of our traditional open shelving for the storage. And so, which I love, I think it turned out great because as you can see, we've got, we've got it decked out with utensils and you can hang so much stuff. Yeah, there's nothing in the drawers. Yeah. <laughs> it's all out of it. Yeah. So we do have plenty of drawers. We also have two slide out butcher blocks for extra prep space. So while you're in here, they slide out all the way. You, you might get trapped in here with this one. Actually, you can still slide by here. Um, but yeah, you actually have this additional prep space here. The cooktop's just gonna be a plug-in burner two burner cooktop um, and then she's going to use a air fryer in this space where we normally put the oven that was that was her choice but we did we also did these stainless steel countertops and the kitchen sink the fabricator took their our regular kitchen sink that has these drop-in accessories and he welded in into the countertop and completely blended it with the countertop. Yeah, it looks great. He, it's completely seamless. So you can't tell that it's not originally part yeah. of the countertop itself. It's beautiful. And then we also have the pull-out pantries. We've got toe kick drawers in here all along the, the base of the cabinets and the upgraded refrigerator uh, with the two with a two drawer freezer. All right, is that everything? What have I forgotten, Christina? 
That's the best other thing that I can think of. All right. I hope y'all like it. I'll give everybody a view from the upstairs. So yeah, eventually this is going to have, well, pretty soon, tomorrow, it's going to have a bunch of alpha railings added. So yeah. We'll try to get some pictures with all that. All right, leave your comments down below. Let us know what you think. Thanks for watching, y'all. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time. We love you.